Yo, today I want to talk about contributing to payload by creating issues, um, which is a great way to contribute. Like, you don't have to write code for the repo to contribute. Just by you opening a, a good issue um, helps make the product better. So let's dive in. If you go to new issue and then you get started with a bug, you're faced with some fields. Um, the one we're going to focus on today is reproductions. So it's awesome if you provide a reproduction because it makes our job much easier we know we can boot up the repro and get going on the fix right away so if we jump into the reproduction guide um, this video is going to be like a shortened version of this guide so if you fork the repo um, i already did this but your username will show up here you click it and then you click create fork and then it'll show up in your repositories on your github account so i have mine right here if i go to it i can clone it so you do get clone, clone, do get, get clone, and then that. I've already done it, so I'm not going to run it again. Um, and then once you have it on your machine, you can pmpm, pmpm, i to install. I've already done this, so it's pretty quick here. Um, and then from there, you can do pmpm dev underscore community, and it's going to boot up payload. So you have this payload folder. This is the cloned version. Um, and we have all these folders inside the test directory. And so if you run pmpm dev any folder name in here, it will boot up an instance of payload with the HF configs. So with the config inside the folder. We're gonna do the community one, it's very basic. Um, and this is a great one. This is the one we recommend. If you're gonna open an issue, you, go, you should go in here and you can create a new collection or you can edit maybe the post collection um, and you would add, because normally when you open an issue, it's with like a field type or a hook or anything to do with like a database or, you know, anything like that. And so if you come in here and you add the fields that are causing you trouble or, you know, the hooks or anything like that, um, as minimal as possible is better. Um, we don't, it's not helpful if you copy like everything from your project into here. Um, it's more helpful if you just figure out what fields are causing you an issue and then put those in here and then like and then what you do so if if we did that like let's say we change this to a field that we actually cared about whoops not that one this one and then we can get switch to a new branch so we'll do like get switch fix my issue and then we'll get add all for simplicity get commit um chore example issue example and then we'll get push and then okay so now let's go back to our repository so this is our forked repository see we already have a branch right here so this is perfect so you have your let's say you have your fields already in here you have you've recreated the issue you've run pmpm dev community which i forgot to show you um but if we go here and go to localhost we already have the it's all up and running so we renamed the field i think in here yeah text two it's here so let's say this issue is causing us trouble we've uh, reproed it in here not inside our project but inside of the community folder um and then oops and then we're ready to you know submit our issue so we go to our branch I'm trying to copy my url um <laughs> silly so if you copy that and then you go back to your issue template you can paste it into here and this is what we need. This would be ideal if you could do this. Um, this will help us greatly, uh, and it will definitely uh, decrease the amount of time it takes to uh, close your issue. Um, the only other thing in here that's super important is maybe the steps to reproduce it. So it's great that you have the link um, to a reproduction. If you could just add the steps, like however you were able to recreate it, you write that here, and then the version of payload. Those are the, the three main fields that are very important to us. Um, if you can do that, that would be killer. Um, yeah, that's really all I have. Um, if you want to know any more, you can hit me up on Twitter. Have a good one.